H2K Infosys provides world class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys How we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Hello. Hello, this is Rao. He's on the phone. I'm following that. Hello. Hello. So do you have any specific question on uh, detect? Hello? Oh, hi, Mr. Rao. Oh, this is yeah. Kala. Uh, yeah. Yesterday, uh, somebody was telling, they asked the question, what is bug try age? Did you attend the bug try age meeting? Okay. So what actually they do in those meetings, bug try age? Even I heard of it, but uh, I don't know how, how it works. Like as a tester, we, we are going to attend. Okay, anyone know about this or can someone want to talk about what is bug trace so that I can correct? Hello? Maybe someone can unmute and uh, talk about what is bug trace. Can you repeat that question? Somebody is asking the question, repeat. Anyone can just talk something about whatever you can hear this.
so so anyone what is actually bug means can somebody know what is the bug means like what you what you write in the bug it's a kind of i actually i have to mute everyone can you unmute and uh, explain about what is bug it's a kind of defect okay so what you write in the bug all the issues which we face by bug i can say when the deviation from the expected to the actual uh, we mean to say it's a bug bug issues which we face while testing okay so so when you report a bug what uh, what are the information we are going to provide what is the expected result what is uh, what we are expecting and what we got actual result all those issues okay so when you report a bug you need to provide what you are expecting and what actually happened actual value so what else you going to and provide and the title of the bug the severity the step the description of the bug and how to reproduce the bug uh-huh. you can also provide a screenshot of where the bug is appearing and i think we can report uh, the bug in a defects module we can link the defect in the defects module providing the actual result and the what the expected result can i go with this answer hello is go ahead yes yes when i found the bug just so first i retest it and it is a actual bug then i will provide the summary then detail summary which browser i used which test that i used uh, then uh, steps is it reproducible uh, yes or no scale sorts and uh, related documents and which version which environment all the information i will uh, scale sorts i will let us with the bug okay so that's good answer basically you know in bug trace basically we assure that bug is reported properly with all the right information that is basically bug trace means so in the the process of bug trace is explained in the like you no know, trials guide like you know the main job triggers are to help the users to developers to identify clear information like in the trial report involves making sure that the bug report has correct information for developers to fix the problem fix the bug like if you provide right information enough information developer can fix the bug easily right so that is one of the or uh, information in the bug triage and also it has already been reported before we need to have for uh, check for the duplicates if this kind of defect might be already de- uh, reported then you don't have to report again so and also you need to file in the correct place like for example the application is the bug is rep- uh, on a specific issue like a uh, So oh, let's say on the bug is on um, let's take an example atnt.com on the atnt like it's a billing and a, a product find or a search products or act, uh, create a new uh, generate a new account so there are multiple components so you need to provide right place to file the defect and also we need to have like severity and priority fields like we have to provide right severity and right priority is it a high severity or low priority or medium priority so all those information you have to provide and also it's like versioned it, it version means like maybe bug might be opened in previous uh, build now it's a new build or last build like we have to give the proper uh, right information about the bug so those are the information we provide in the triaging a bug
so anything else we can talk so guys can you can you just talk on the phone or unmute and talk about talk on the phone mr rao can we go um, over the questions that i just posted on the chat box okay somebody is asking what is a triage triage means like the order of food or information like to fix up the, the bug bug triage means the order of fixing or uh, treating the bug so what are the order of the treating the bug like bug information uh, bug details reproduced or not like is it high severity high severity and priority and all of that that is basically tri bug triage means Mr. Rao, is there is any difference uh, with the uh, bug reporting and bug triage? Is there is any difference between the, the two? It's the same. No, bug reporting means is a triage means a bug summary like order of yeah, like how you triage the bug, how you report the bug basically. Okay, hierarchy. Yeah, hierarchy. You can say right. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you can. Yes, yeah, Sudha, so you can you can log out and log in again. So, uh, Mr. Kumar, is uh, see the same as the defect uh, life cycle, or is it different? I'm not sure like meaning, how it. The meaning is different. Like bug life cycle means. What is bug life cycle means? what is the defect life cycle means somebody can talk about what is defect life cycle yeah when you found the bug and uh, when you fix it uh, the time period between uh, found and fix it is a defect life cycle there are different stages when you find the bug you log it as a new uh when uh, and send it to the respectable uh, developer if bug uh, then developer will check that bug in his environment if it is valid then it will, he, he will accept it and it is invalid then he, he will reject it uh, there are some re uh, some uh, uh, reason why he reject it or why it is invalid once he accept then he will uh, change the status in that so uh, he uh, change the status in open uh, it means he is working on that bug once he fix the bug then he will again change the status fix or ready for retest and he will send the uh, concern qa uh, and that time qa will uh, uh, test uh, retest that bug if bug the uh, bug is fixed then he, uh, he will uh, close that and not then he will reopen it and again the same life cycle come in the picture Mm-hmm. So, what is bug uh, triage? Hello. 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 <laughs> Uh, please correct me if i am wrong charge means uh, the discuss about the bug severity and priority and which bug need to fix uh, uh, as soon as possible or like that the there's on the information or there's on the severity and priority the in the uh, trials meeting the developer and team lead or this uh, is the discuss about the bug how it is affected to the application or
Hello? Hello, I am not getting audio. Okay, hello, can you hear me? How oh, we can hear you now? Okay. Basically, see, triage means like order of providing the information to your bug. What is the order you will be providing the bug information? Instead of, uh, suppose when we found the bug, we provide all the information each uh, when we log the bug. Every time we provide the, all the information with the each bug. What is the severity, what is the priority, and what is the steps, which environment, which browser we use, uh, right? Uh, 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 which version, everything, build, date, reproducible, yes or no, expected or actual result. So this, inform uh, this information we provide with the, all the bugs. Mm -hmm. So, uh, right. So, uh, in charge meeting, uh, what I mean, uh, maybe I am wrong. Uh, in charge meeting, they discuss about the which bug we need to fix as soon as possible. So, based on the severity and priority, uh, they work on the bug. They discuss on uh, those things. According to me, I'm not sure. But please correct yes, me if I am wrong. See, simple. So there is a meaning for triage means. It, it, I don't know why the, why that guy is asked about triage. It may be medical company. It may be reason that is the reason he might be asking that question. But triage means pray, uh, how the order of the bug is. That is called bug triage. Bug triage meeting means we talk about we give the right information for the developers to understand, making sure the bug has filled with all the correct places and it has correct information for severity and priority field and is it uh, reproducible so all this called bug triage and bug triage meeting means when you conduct a, let's say we have daily stand up meetings in agile environment you will be talking about your bug. Okay, I found this bug. This is the information I provided. And you will talk to the developer. And developer say, okay, you open the status to open. Then, again, you will follow with the developers and check whether it is closed or not. Once it is closed, oh, sorry, once it is fixed, then you will retest the bug make sure it is proper it's fixed or not if it is fixed you will be closing if it is not fixed you will be reopening the bug so basically bug triage meetings are to discuss about severity and priority and how the information is provided to the developer all the things are discussed in the bug triage meetings so in the triage meetings the priority of the fix based on the business perspective so they may think okay this is not a high priority, high severity, so we can fix that later. So they will de decide in the meetings. Okay, that is about uh, bug life cycle and bug triage. So we can go to the next question if you guys wanted to. Okay, guys, you can go ahead and ask some, uh, continue with your other questions.
Hello. Mr. Rao, can you hear me? Uh -huh. Yeah, can you please explain the difference between severity and priority? Okay, can you tell me what is the meaning of severity? Severity is like, uh, uh, like how much uh, technical, uh, you know, fault is there? How much defect uh, the system? Affects the system. system yeah. Can you give me an example? Sample some application is not opening up. So that uh, any functionality is not working. So it will be a high severity. High severity. Severity means how critical the bug is. Yeah. Suppose you can, you can, yeah, for the user perspective or the business perspective, how critical the bug is. In the business perspective, let's say when you try to log in, the system is crashed. So it's very uh, high severity bug. So when you enter login and the incorrect password says, like, you know, uh, Login ID or password is incorrect, and there is some spelling mistake. So if there is spelling mistake is not high severe problem. So it's low severity. But let's say you have, or you try to enter the log into the application, and the system is crashed. How soon they have to fix it? How quickly they have to fix it? There is priority, right? They have to fix it immediately, they can fix it in next build. Some defects can be fixed in next build or some defects has to be fixed right away. So that means based on the priority, the bug has to be fixed. If it is high severity and high priority bug, they will fix it right away. If it is low priority bug, they can fix it later, right? Priority means how soon they have to fix it. Severity means how uh, how much the application is affecting because of this bug. How critical the issue uh, is. Mr. Rav, if uh, it's uh, a severe bug, but that uh, it will, like automatically it will be like high priority. If it's a severity, high severity, then it, it will be a high, uh, high priority. Yeah, most of the cases, but there are some other cases it may be high severity, but it can be low priority. Can you give so, us example for that? Yeah, I don't want to no. become like this become like a uh, again uh, faculty is going to talk about this. I want you guys to you know find something and come up with some ideas. If I continue to talk, it's kind of again you no know, faculty is talking and student is listening. Okay. So guys, go go explore yourself. Uh, do some research on this. There are some issues. There are some scenarios where high severity and low priority, high priority and low severity bugs are there. So go ahead and find out those kind of scenarios so that you can discuss, we can come with our own idea. So can I say something? Priority is the development perspective and severity is customer perspective. Can I say that? I, I don't think so, but if you, uh, you can, uh, other people can agree with that or Let's other people uh, tell the answer. I can give one example for high severity and uh, low priority. Um, like uh, if you, I can give uh, an example for flight reservation, like uh, on that website, um, like if you try to book some flight and uh, it's uh, when you uh, are paying and the credit card when you enter the credit card number and everything but uh, um, like payment tab that is not working well so they cannot accept payment from the customer so that is a uh, high severity but uh, like uh, uh, that module is going to be um, um, uh, releasing the next version so that would be um, low priority for that thing. So that is one example like this.
Hello. Yeah, um, just now I was talking, but I didn't get any reply from anybody. So. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, we can. <laughs> so whoever is taking the class, please. Uh, uh, Sheeta, can you please repeat? Because I guess we lost you and couldn't hear you, your last response. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, I was trying to give you an um, uh, example for high severity and low priority. Like um, um, I gave an example for flight reservation, like when you want to book a flight. Like if we are testing any flight reservation application, so um, we enter the everything like uh, to book a flight, we enter everything. And when we try to book that flight, they ask a payment. And uh, if we give a payment uh, information, but the website is not accepting, so that is high severity. But uh, that uh, particular module is going to be released in the next version. So that could be a low priority. So that is one example for high severity and low priority. Can I add a little bit? Because uh, I think, sorry? I think like, if they can accept the payments through other modes only, then it will be low priority. But if it's like only online and uh, they have only one option to accept payments only online, uh, then it will be high priority and high severity. Um, Correct me, please. I want to say something, add up to this. Okay. Severity is like anything like can't check the balance or transfer money or very, uh, it's like urgent. We need to do it. We had to log in. Then that is kind of a um, severity and uh, low is kind of cosmetic changes like look and feel. Those can be ignored and uh, you know it's kind of ten percent. We can uh, later on fix it. But severity is like checking the account or transferring the money or that's what I feel. And um, one example I can give for um, um, high priority but low severity. That is uh, like uh, when you um, log into like a Yahoo page and uh, um, you see like uh, it is showing a spelling mistake like in Yahoo or something, or some kind of different. So it is uh, a high priority because when people log into that website, they should uh, see the Yahoo, uh, it's correct in correct spelling. But that is low severity. That is not affecting to any functionality of that uh, website. So that is one example for high priority and low severity. Good. So do do you think this would be a good example? Shibal, they were great examples, Shibal. Oh, okay. It was really good. For good. So, do you guys know about like verification and validation? Do Do you want to like? Can we discuss about that topic? Yes. 